Hello everyone, this is Trish, and I'm live on Saturday, Small Business Saturday, and I'm also sitting in the parking lot of the Children's Theater again. I'm alone right now, waiting for my uh, son and the rest of his castmates to uh, come on out after their second show for today. And I wanted to share with you guys three things that I am grateful for today. We are in this Thanksgiving weekend and a lot of us are still visiting with family or have family visiting or are doing, you know, really fun activities that we save for this weekend. For example, a lot of people here in the Twin Cities are at the Children's Theater this weekend, uh, kind of kicking off the holiday season officially by coming to see a holiday show. And uh, it's a great place to be at the holidays. I have to say the Twin Cities is a very, very merry, merry place and a lot of great theatrical productions going on here. My three grateful things for today, and I thought I'd throw this out there because I would love to get yours. Okay, so if you stumble on this video, I don't know who's on, I know somebody's on. If you stumble on this video um, and you want to comment on what your three things that you're grateful for today are, and aside from your family, okay, of course, you know, your family or your closest friends, aside from those things that we should be thankful for every single day, um, these are things in particular today, like that maybe come to mind for you. So mine are as follows. Number one, I am grateful for the first responders who have been working all through this holiday weekend. And of course, I'm grateful for first responders in general. I have uh, had a need for um, working with first responders in the past, and it's never been anything short of a very uh, comforting and positive experience, uh, including the other night when, um, when I had some... Uh, <laughs> some nastiness going on on Facebook with some trolls uh, saying some very negative comments, which normally I would have blown off, but um, since they involved my son and they were threats, even though I knew probably they were pretty much just ridiculous, bogus threats. Um, when you're messing with me, that's one thing, but when you're messing with my son, then you're really, really messing with me. So, um, you know, that gets a phone call to uh, my local police department as well as a phone call to my friend in the FBI. Um, and everything is cool there. So um, I had a visit that evening from uh, first responders uh, when I called just to make basically an incident report. But the uh, local police department insisted on sending a squad to take a look at the, uh, the posts that were, had been posted that were... Uh, in question and uh, they were very thorough and they were very supportive and very comforting to me so I wanted to give thanks and a shout out again I'd already done it this weekend but I wanted to do it again a shout out to the first responders working at the holidays the cops the uh, paramedics the EMTs uh, and the people on staff at the hospitals that are receiving people that are in need Oh, and dispatch as well. Also very cool people. So that's one thing I'm thankful for. The second thing I'm thankful for, uh, today especially, is the internet and this social platform, Facebook, because I'm having such a cool time uh, sorting out a, a personal matter having to do with home decor, which... Uh, most people may not know this about me, or maybe they do, but they would never say it. But I'm clueless. This is just not really my area. I get very overwhelmed when having to make selections, like for paint and colors and things like that. It's just, I, I mean, I know what I like. I know what pleases my eye. But I don't know. Is it the ADD? Is it just me? It's just not really my area. Interior design was never any direction I was going to be going in. So... On a whim today, um, I opened it up because yesterday we were searching for uh, <clears throat> replacement or new uh, granite countertops, uh, my, my hubs and me, and uh, narrowed it down to, you know, a bunch. And I was like, you know, whatever, whatever, just pick. Anything will be better than what we have. <laughs> um, but we got to make a decision and he would like it to be my decision. 
which is very nice, but uh, it's not a decision that I can make easily. So on a whim, I posted, you know, little uh, colors of the the number of different um, countertop materials that we're looking at. And all of a sudden, I'm getting all of these people commenting, and it's just so fun! So many of them are school chums of mine from 30 plus years ago, and it's just, it's just fun. You know, when you're being thankful for stuff, you know, you're thankful for, for family and friends, right? That's one of the things that we take for granted that we should be thankful for. But this is a little reminder today that um, I'm thankful for these social platforms that allow us to all intermingle and, and uh, you know, hinge together on a certain subject, topic, uh, whether it be serious or, or frivolous. Um, you know, whatever it is, it gives us all a chance to connect. So that's my second thing that I'm grateful for. The third thing I'm grateful for is um, the men and women who I uh, partner with and work with in my online industries, as well, of course, as my customers. Very, very grateful. Wanted to make that shout out today on Small Business Saturday. This is a very, very big weekend for shopping. Obviously, it's uh, big for retail, but it's just as big for the online and uh, in-person, face-to-face entrepreneurs. So, shout out to my customers. Thank you so much. Thank you. I am grateful for your business and your continued support. And thank you to my teammates for your constant inspiration and your hard work and dedication and driving me to be the best that I can be in my business. That's my three for today. Tell me what yours are. Happy Saturday. Bye.